السلام عليكم ورحمة الله ان شاء الله هنكمل الشغل بتاعنا مع بعض تمام هنبدأ النهاردة ان شاء الله بيونت 1 لسون 7 solving quadratic equation in one variable page 20 page 20 starting with the lesson unit 1 lesson 7 solving quadratic equation in one variable uh, this lesson and the next lesson inshallah or a revision for the whole unit okay so it's not something new it's a revision for the whole unit for example if you told me that x minus 5 times x plus 2 equals 0 of course I'm going to say that there is a zero as the result of a product of two numbers so that one of them must be zero one of them or at least one of them is a zero so that I'm going to say that x x minus 5 equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0 again if two numbers their product is a 0 so that one of them must be a 0 so that x minus 5 could be a 0 or x plus 2 could be a 0 so that now x minus 5 equals 0 it means that x equals 5 and in here x equals negative 2 so that the solution set the solution set and it's very important we have to write the solution set if you ask us to write the solution set we have to write it so the solution set equals 5 and negative 2 between two braces another example Two x square minus five x minus three equals zero. Of course, to solve this one, we have to factorize that first. We have to factorize it as first. The first one in here was already factorized for us, but this one we have to do it by ourselves. Of course, we said that we have two ways to do this one. The first one we may do the cross. Or the second one that I told you that I will work with okay I'm going to multiply 2 by 3 in here so that it will be x square minus 5x minus 6 equals 0 I will factorize this one now x and x 6 will be 6 and 1 two numbers their product is 6 and their difference is 5 why difference? Because the sign is negative. So the bigger will be like the middle one. So this one will be negative and the other one is positive. Equal zero. In the top there, I multiply 2 by 3. So now I'll, I will divide the new one by 2. So divide by 2 in here and divide by 2 in here. So I have in here x minus 3 as 6 divided by 2 equals 3. And in here, I will multiply 2 in here in front of x. It will be 2x plus 1 because we can to divide 1 by 2 equal 0 now I will find the answer from here I will find the answer from here as I said at the top we have in here x minus 3 equal 0 or 2x plus 1 equal 0 it means that x equal 3 and in here x equal negative 1 over 2 x equal negative 1 over 2 so that's the solution set equal 3 or negative half
another example. So I'm going to say two x power of three equals eighteen x. And of course, all of it, he wants a solution set in R, okay? He wants a solution set in R, it means a real number. To solve this one, we have to put all the values in one side of the equation. We have to put all of them in one side of the equation. So that will be 2x power 3 minus 18x equals 0. We know that we can send 18x to the other side with those operation or subtract negative 18 from both sides to make this side 0. Now, how can we solve this one? The first step to factorize anything is by taking a highest common factor. So I have in here 2 as a common factor between 2 and 18, x between x and x power of 3. So I have it now, 2 divided by 2 equals 1, x power of 3 divided by x equals x squared, we don't write 1, negative 18 divided by 2 equals negative 9, x divided by x equals 1, and we don't write 1, 2, this one equals 0. Did we finish? No, we didn't finish yet. We have to factorize x squared minus 9, because it's the difference between two squares. x squared is different, and 9 is different, and there is negative between them. So I have 2x, factorize it will be x plus 3, and x minus 3 equals 0. Now I have three terms. I have three terms. All of them must be 0. Okay, so I have in here 2x equals 0, or x plus 3 equals 0, or x minus 3 equals 0. So now from here, I will find that x equals 0, because 2 times 0 equals 0, of course. In here, x equals negative 3, and in here, x equals 3. So the solution set equals 0, 3, and negative 3.